love, welcome home to Eden. So today we're talking about nicotine and how to get clean. <laughs> All right, I'm Eve Kristoff, your love life muse. Stick with me for the hottest news. Subscribe to this channel to get somewhere new. <laughs> so this is the thing. You think you're craving the nicotine, but really, the cigarette is craving you. What do I mean by this? This is actually a really heavy duty uh, video I'm doing for you. Cigarettes on the planet right now are being controlled by a very evil spirit that is trying to dampen the light of those people who are angels, those people who have a mission, who have a passion to help the world and the ability to do so. So what this evil spirit does is it uses cigarettes as a way to stop you. And you think you're craving a cigarette, but really that evil spirit is craving you because that spirit is a vampire and it only exists when people are smoking. The more people give it energy, it can suck your life, actually kill you and take your life, okay? So this is super heavy duty, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it really is. So you're being controlled and manipulated by an evil spirit that is uh, needing your attention on, in order to thrive. Now that, that spirit dies, it gets smaller and smaller the less people um, give it their, their power. So how do you get free? How do you get free of a huge, demonically evil spirit that is trying to suck your life and is succeeding? How do you do it? Right? Okay. The, the, the way I'm going to guide you right now is a process called lucid dreaming. Okay? Now the Sanoi Indians from a long time ago used to have a practice where the whole tribe would gather in the morning to share their dreams that they had the night before. And whatever those dreams were, were the messages, the omens for the tribe to follow that day, that week, that year. Okay. Excuse me. So in the process of their lucid dreaming, the Sanoi Indians realized that um, there are often demons in the spirit world, monsters of different kinds that you encounter, you know, like the ones that chase you and you can never stop running and that kind of thing. So they realized that in the dream world they needed to be able to turn around, face the demon, and conquer danger. Now conquering danger would often result, almost always, either in the obliteration of the energy where it was gone or in making friends with the enemy. So now this monster in the dream world becomes your ally who is fighting for you to protect you. Okay, so how do you lucid dream? How do you get to the place where when you're dreaming in the middle of the dream without even having to wake up, you can conquer any demon? Now what's really cool is in the dream world, you have superpowers, right? You can fly, you can gather all the angels of the universe, you can turn a, a river of puke into a river of golden love, which simply by touching it with your finger. So the, the first thing to do is to get used to lucid dreaming. So when you are dreaming at night, I want you to have a journal next to your bed. That journal is there because as soon as you wake up in the morning, middle of the night, from any dream at all, you write down the dream, okay? That is not in order to, like, categorize your dreams or something. It's, get, it's to get used to remembering them. Now, what happens is the more you do this, the more you remember your dreams. So, now, next thing to do, you wake up, you write your dream, and it's not such a good dream, and then you write, uh, or visualize for a moment before you go back to sleep, a scenario that heals the dream you just had, it makes it meaningful, makes it wonderful, makes, makes it full of um, success for you. You do this often enough after you wake up from a dream, changing it with your mind as you lay there, and pretty soon you won't have to wake up to do so. You will actually, in the dream, remember that you're the dreamer, you're the creator, and you will change any scenario with your own uh, mind. Okay, mind power, mind over matter. So. Now, while you are 
dealing with this nicotine demon, I want you to first, ooh, it goes dark on me, <laughs> I want you to first um, find your power animal, find your angelic helpers. Okay, so now shamanic practitioners can help you do this. It's like you go in a long meditation and you, you literally find in the deep underworld of the magic earth uh, the spiritual connection you have to an animal that, that fights for you, that guides you. Um, and you do this in the upper world, too. You, you go on a, a meditation, a journey, and you find that angel, that, that leader, that, that great teacher, that ancestor who is totally magically able to um, look out for you. Okay? So now, as you begin your journey with battling the demon of the nicotine, <laughs> the, 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 the vampire that it is, you, you know, we know how hard this is. We know how many people have not succeeded and tried. But the thing is, they don't realize that they are on a hero's journey. And you are, you are actually battling a demon that's a huge demon. So when you succeed for yourself, you 